There is another form of suppression the Agua Hedionda specific plan creates, the suppression of small businesses. Again, it is the 67% of Carlsbad residents who own the small and medium-sized businesses in Carlsbad Village along Interstate 78 and the I-5 corridor. And there's hundreds of stores and hundreds of small business people. And small business is what made America. And when you put this mall in, some of those businesses are going to suffer. I recently met a woman who's recently purchased three stores in downtown Carlsbad. She mentioned that it was her dream to own stores in Carlsbad Village. On page 34 and 35 of the city's 9212 rep, uh, report, it states, based on retail demand analysis and the availability industry data, the city can expect a temporary 12 to 18 month reduction in revenue generated by existing establishments. 18 months of revenue reduction after the Caruso Mall is built. Realistically, how many small businesses can sustain this type of loss without having to close their doors forever. This isn't good for Carlsbad. It's not good for Carlsbad at all. Can Megan survive this? Can she? 